This is the Bryden and Rowan Sawmill. It was built by D.H. Rowan. It is now located at Rolog, overlooking Gunderson Pond. You can see that the Sawyer is in control of moving the carriage back and forth, and the advancement of the logs is managed by the team on the carriage. In some of our other sawmills, both of these functions are handled by the Sawyer. Keeping pressure up is a never-ending chore in an operation this size. The operators need to carefully monitor the water level, fire, and pressure to ensure consistent operation with all the engines running together. The wood that cannot be made into usable lumber is cut up as slab wood for use in the steam engines. It takes a number of engines to run a sawmill of this size. There is an 80 horsepower case skid engine, a 110 horsepower case skid engine, and a host of other steam or gas tractors that provide power to run the sawmill. This is Earl's Mill. The team here works hard to cut wood, which is often used for various projects around our showgrounds during the year. This season, many of the visiting Minneapolis engines had an opportunity to get some time belted up at Earl's. This is Gary Henning's 20 horsepower Minneapolis. It was built in 1924 and was the last of the 20 horsepower models to roll off the assembly line.
This is the thick and thin sawmill. Like the Bryden and Rowan mill, it has multiple engines involved in the operation. You can see here that the Sawyer has visibility to the size of the wood he's cutting, and careful planning is involved to make the most efficient use of the logs. Mm -hmm. 